Good morning. Half past ten in the morning and it's already 82 degrees um, Fahrenheit, which is about 28 Celsius, just under. And it is scorching outside. I have been struggling the last couple of days with the high UV. The UV is presently five where I am in London. So the day ahead is, is already feeling like a challenge. So I'm avidly doing the work of being present in the moment, being fully present with myself, regularly checking in with my body to make sure everything is as it should be making sure i stay hydrated i've been drinking three and a half liters of water a day the last few days quite possibly going to go up to over four today because my mouth is constantly feeling dry and my skin as well I mentioned before about being allergic to UV rays, anything above a four, so daylight, anything above a four, on the UV scale. I mentioned before about this feeling like my body just seizes up, like it, 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 it just goes bone dry, it goes crackly under the skin, and it feels like bubble wrap. Well, the heat's been so high the last few days, the UV's been so high the last few days, I am actually covered in bruises where it feels like the slightest touch on my leg. Like if I sit down and I put my arm on my leg, it's the bubble wrap sensation. It's like popping bubble wrap and it, it, it's causing bruises. So let's see. Should be able to show you one. Nope, I can't do that. Uh, there on my leg bruises see so yeah so I'm in a bit of a delicate state because I've got bruises on my arms too and uh, praying I don't get any on my face <laughs> I know vanity it's it's a thing but be, being um, allergic to daylight in this type of weather is quite a serious thing and it's very very painful but still you know being fully present in the moment i still try and achieve everything i want to achieve so yes i've been stuck in my house i'm running a big group at the moment subconscious campus it's we're on the week second week that's going really 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 well major breakthroughs right across the board. I'm inspired by all the members. It's just been amazing. So raising self-awareness, increasing self-awareness. I increased my own self-awareness of certain body parts that I, you know, you, you generally you don't put your hands on. But yesterday I I thought to myself, ah, oh, some it's it's uh, shaded outside my back door. And this was around five o'clock in the evening I was doing the boys uh, salads and I thought I'll just go and sit for a few minutes and breathe in some fresh air outside I sat down on my stone bench I've got this ancient stone bench outside my back door that I've had for about 25 years uh, maybe a bit more it was given to me as a gift years ago and uh, I absolutely love it so it's right outside my back door I stepped outside to sit on the, the stone bench thinking I'll take a break and have a breather. And I sat down and within seconds I realised my mistake. I became acutely aware of my fried bottom. So then just to top it off, last night I made an aromatherapy bath. I put aromatherapy bath with eucalyptus, peppermint lavender because eucalyptus and peppermint actually cool you right down when you have a bath with them in i got in the i got in the bath and i became acutely aware of my bottom again it was on fire so how to raise self-awareness with body parts there you go 
I rang my daughter and her and I were talking and I told her this story and she burst out laughing. So I just thought I'd share that little, little personal thing with you. But yeah, raising self-awareness. So I regularly check in with myself and see what my body's doing because it does go bone dry. A couple of years ago when this problem started to escalate this time of year, I woke up and my tongue was stuck to the side of my mouth and it was all white inside my mouth and it was so scary. It was just completely, completely dry. Like think desert, like baked sand that has cracked. And that's what my mouth was like. And my voice has been very crackly where inside my throat has been extremely dry. I've been gargling with glycerin just to keep it lubricated and drinking loads and loads and loads of plain water. I had one lady asking me yesterday, is tap water okay? No, absolutely not, was my reply. Tap water is not okay, particularly with everything that's going on in the world right now. All the, all the um, swabs, tests, jabs, um, medications, everything, they all end up in the water. <coughs> and once they've got filtration systems in place, these things are all new. They've only been released in the last couple of years. So there's no telling yet. It'll be another eight years or so before we know what's been filtered out of the water that's been added within the last two years. So no, I don't recommend drinking tap water at the moment, especially now. You want pure spring water. You don't want anything that says purified. It must say pure spring water and the ingredients must be pure spring water. As a general rule of thumb, if something's got more than, say like if I picked up broccoli and it said it had titanium added to it, would I eat it? Of course not, because it's a broccoli. It's supposed to, the ingredients are supposed to read broccoli. It's the same with your water. You can get high pH water, which turns your body from an acidic environment, which grows inflammation and harmful parasites. You can turn it into an alkaline environment, which obviously I did when I had cancer. I turned my body into an alkaline environment. But you can do this with fresh lemons as well. So you squeeze a lemon in a pint glass and you, you fill it with a pint of pure spring water and then put a pink, pinch of pink Himalayan salt. That must be pure too and the only ingredient in that packaging must read pure pink Himalayan salt. You put a pinch of that in and you give it a swirl and you drink it. You just sip it slowly. It should take you about an hour to sip that. And that turns your body into an alkaline environment. Now in an alkaline environment, even this time of year for me, it really is a game changer. If you've got any swollen joints, any pain in your wrists, pain in your fingers, or your body feels like it's got electrical current where it's going through <coughs> and it's numb, it's numbing, you need an alkaline environment because it really does, it flashes through your lymphatic system and just, it keeps your liver, your super, 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 super powered computer, keeps it topped up and regulated and upgraded. So in my group Subconscious Compass, we've covered how to clear your energy field as well yesterday. And I gave some very interesting exercises, which don't involve movement. So this is another thing that I've learned. When I was paralyzed, I learned how to exercise without moving. Sometimes people look at me and I say, what are you doing? And I say, I'm sitting. Did you know you use over 180 different internal muscles to sit still? It's absolutely true. It's, it's around 182 to 186. 
to actually sit still. Now the challenge for me, I've got nystagmus and my eyes strobe and move. And I wouldn't have even known about this had someone not told me about it when I was a child because I don't see that. So I have had to have lessons on how to keep this part of my face still because in certain lighting conditions, like now, I've got a fan next to me and the wind is blowing and it's moving the blind. The strobing light from the moving blind used to cause my face to twitch, but I learnt to still my face. And the other thing I used to do a lot was frown. So in, in the light, I'd be squinting like this. I've learned to keep my eyes open So this was really challenging for me. So if I can do these things and keep myself, these tiny, tiny little things every day, just to keep my body operating in an upgraded state as the gold standard, I don't want to ever slip back to any type of illness or disease that I had before. I had the, I had the, the works, you know, I had autoimmune disease, immune deficiency where I had my spleen taken out and three quarters of my pancreas is missing as well as are four and a half meters of my bowels, my, my intestine, my large intestine. So my body has rewritten itself a program and it's functioning really, really, really well. The other thing that happened to me was since 2012, I haven't been able to sweat at all like no droplets of, of water at all would leave my body and um, a couple of years ago i did the holistic health program when i was learning how to learning and studying to become a holistic health practitioner and with, with all the overhaul and upgrades that i was giving myself i suddenly had this really weird sensation and i thought what's that i, I had tiny beads of sweat like here and on my arms and it was the weirdest thing i was so happy thinking yeah this is great you know my body's starting to function normally uh for want of a better word but yeah so i have numerous challenges i have got several internal organs missing from injury and 15 rounds of abdominal surgery but i'm functioning really really highly and really really well i haven't put on any weight I've lost over 294 pounds in weight now and I'm absolutely over the moon. I, I go through periods where I put on like 10 to 18 pounds and then, and then it, 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 it just it happens automatically. Your body has seasons. So at certain times of the year, you're in kind of like hibernation mode. Now, for me, this time of year, hibernation mode is usually now. But this year, I've had so much on I've programmed it in that it's not going to be hibernation mode. My hibernation mode is going to be the same as all of yours after Christmas. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I am trying. I'm constantly doing the work. As, as a therapist, wellness ambassador, very talented coach, I'm known as the self-awareness architect because I inspire you to develop your own sense of self-awareness which really is key and it's the stage before goal setting and dreaming big massive dreams and taking tiny steps to reach those dreams this is the stage beforehand where you want to make changes you want to improve your life and you want to grow this is the first steps so I, I am running my group. I probably will put on another one in August. I'll see how, what a battering I get first over the next few days and then I'll decide because I make myself available 24 hours a day throughout the duration of the group for one-to-one -one coaching as well. So it's not just a workbook program where I give you exercise every, every day. I am available for support and general enhancements as well, like inspiring you to be enhanced. 
So thank you for listening. Today already feels quite challenging to me. I'm trying my best. If you contact me during the day, the likelihood of me replying is high, just not as quickly as I usually do. So thank you for listening. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Stay out of the direct sun as much as you can before five o'clock. I think from now until five o'clock. But before I started making this video, it was 82 degrees, which is about, it's, it's 27 point eight something so it's just under just under 28 celsius and um 10 30 in the morning that's quite epic really and it's just going to go up throughout the day so thank you for listening